Giants. It could be an evening spent watching a game of football in any American city, but we are far from the likes of Boston or New York. This is Cuenca, in Ecuador. Four years ago, a number of international magazines identified the city as an ideal place for pensioners from the developed world to live in due to its beauty and low cost of living. Since then, it has undergone somewhat of a demographic revolution. It was not an experienced immigration city. On the contrary, we are very experienced in migrating. We have not been prepared to receive you in tour. Three years, 5,000 new residents with a totally different culture that forced us to some extent to accommodate to them, to speak English and to get used to their customs. Most of the people here are retired and some of them came purely for financial reasons. Um, some came for health reasons and um, some just because they have, have always had an adventurous spirit, I think. The influx of new people has fueled the construction boom in recent years. Yet, some Cuencanos fear it has also inflated property prices. There are positive things such as the boom in construction, the stimulus to the real estate business, and the business of giving advice to this group of people. But there could be a downside as well. When one Cuencano wants to access housing, the constructor may prefer to sell a little more dearly, because apparently a foreigner has greater purchasing power. But the pensioners disagree. I've had this discussion with some government officials too, and, and uh, they say, well, you guys come down here and you, you pay too much for a house, and now the Ecuadorians can't pay for the house. I said, who's selling the house? The Ecuadorians are selling the house, so tell them to quit asking so much money. So it's not really all our fault. These discrepancies could be a potential source of tension, but so far, relations between locals and thousands of predominantly North American newcomers have remained unequal. Laura Plitt, BBC News.